Hey everyone, it's Anthony. No, that's not me that you're looking at. I'm here with John from Casio, and he's going to show us some really cool wireless systems that they have. So John, why don't you take it away? Yes, this is the new uh, network connection software. It actually works with all of our new wireless uh, projectors, which are the Slimline, the Signature Series, and the Ultra Short Throw. Um, this is, uh, I'm just showing here uh, the network connection uh, software, which is a very simple application. Uh, it has uh, here for Excuse documents. Excuse me to interrupt a second, but sure. it's right here, this little box right This here. little box. That's Correct. the network connection software. And here I can choose the main projector, which is uh, the, just full screen, by hitting play, which is up on the screen now. See, if I did the... hit number two, uh, I could bring it into the upper quadrant, uh, three to lower quadrant, and so forth. That allows up to four people at any time to, sh to show what's on their screen simultaneously. So we can actually have up to four computers connected simultaneously, showing four different screens. Correct. All live on Correct. our Casio projector. And you can have up to eight users connected, but up to four at the same time uh, on screen. So if I hit the play button again uh, in the center, it will uh, bring me back up uh, to full screen. And there you there you go. Uh, this shows here desktop. It's just basically uh, what I have on the screen at the time. Uh, and here is this little film strip. If I want to project a video file it would bring it up and buffer it so that you would have perfect lip sync as well on the video. So it would just browse your, your video files and you can and, pull them up. And again, John said that that will transfer a video file wirelessly to your projector, which then buffers it and plays it right there. So there's no delay, all the sound and, and video sync up, and it looks like you're just watching it on your computer. That's correct. Great stuff. All of our uh, wireless projectors do have two gig on board. So we can send files over to be stored on those projectors as well. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about today was the, a new application that's both on Android-based devices, whether it's a phone or a tablet, as well on iOS. So your, your iPhone or your iPad, it would work well with. Um, so I'm going to show that to you right now. This is an Android device. This is a Samsung device. Um, and um, this is what the application would look like. What's the app called? It's called C Assist for Casio Assist. So C Assist app, Android or Apple. You know, for now, I'm going to show you um, just basic file. So if I went to file here and I wanted the document or images, here I'll show images, um, demo pictures that I have there. And I could go to on screen, just choose a file. So this and is the, the pictures on the tablet. Once you open it up on the app there, there it is. it's shown on your projected image. And I can actually, you'll see on the application a little pen. I can click that, and then I can annotate. I can choose a color um, if I'd like to, and I could annotate across here. And I could, you know, talk about, you know. And as you see, it, it does show up on the Let's projector. <laughs> It's not actually live. There's about a second and a half delay, mm -hmm. but uh, that's pretty quick. So you can actually annotate, and by the time you finish writing that word, it's already up right. on the large screen. And then I can quickly screen. erase it as well. Or I could take a snapshot um, using the, the tool here to take a quick capture of what I wrote and save it as an image file. So you could save your annotations right back to the tablet or, or phone, whatever you're using. And I can just simply close that writing tool and then go to the next image. Next image right there. If I hit um, back up here at the home, I can go to file if I like and go back to say a document, which would make more sense for somebody in maybe a school environment and says, I want to do uh, something here on access point. So a teacher could take any PowerPoint presentations, convert them to a PDF and uh... Correct. Put them on the iPad, Android tablet, yes. and now you're looking at it on the tablet there. It's also up on the big screen right there. Correct. And then I can just simply um, change my slides. You swipe the slide. Swipe, swipe it. Just like I mean, that. I use my finger. I'm just using a stylus yeah, finger, here. stylus, whatever. Um, and you're going to see that slide right up on the projector. Uh, when I reference access point, I can make the projector the access point and tie that to either wire or wirelessly into the network. So instead of everybody um, signing into the network, 
they could just sign into the projector and use that as the access point. And that's very important because if your school or your office doesn't have a good Wi-Fi infrastructure, you're not going to have 20-some-odd, 20-some-odd, 30-some-odd students bogging it down. Now they can all connect to the projector, and the projector could be wired into the network for Internet access. So essentially everybody would have wireless Internet access just through the projector. Um, some of the other uh, things we showed file, I want to show camera. So if you wanted to use your onboard camera um, as a document, you wanted to talk about, I don't know, something like that. Like the projector's you know, the, remote? The, the projector's remote. Well, why don't you turn it up on me, John? <laughs> oh, we can turn yeah. it up. To, there he is. So, yeah, see, there's me filming this video right now. <laughs> and, okay, very good. So, so yeah, um, live camera shot right from um, the tablet. So and you just, uh, just, and simply just hit the back button. And then I can go to internet as well, so I can surf the web. You can show it up there on screen live. PC operation means I can take over my laptop, say if I had that on a desk and I have a presentation open, I want to then take over the operation, I could do that from here. And then setup um, is basically uh, the projector connection, the operations of the projector, if I want to change inputs and stuff like that, I can take over that and then draw tool settings um, in the beginning if I wanted to change them to different colors. Right now I have a few highlighted. I can add up to it. I can change them. Actually, I could take that off. I can say I want blue instead. So, the same thing. I like to use a small pen versus the, the larger widths. So, that kind of gets you into, um, you know, what C-Assist is about. Um, one of the things, though, I can just do here. I have my... Um, we also have it on an iPhone. On an yeah. iPhone. And I can uh, jump to this. And, you know, show you very quickly. Let me go right here. And I'm showing. So John has a picture on his right iPhone here. now, and I'm we just switched that. Bad, uh, LCD projector <laughs> there's the, found in a there's bar. the picture there. <laughs> it's a, it really is a bad picture. It's <laughs> yeah. not the projector. No, I show you a normal, a normal image there. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. better. <laughs> and then we could do the same thing on this. We can annotate on that so. image as well. Um, yeah, I draw. And basically all John did there was just hit the play button on his iPhone. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the tablet or even the computer and hit play or, or tap on the screen in any way whatsoever, it'll basically take over what's being shown on the projector. Correct. So if you had multiple people sharing and looking at different things on different devices, it's very easy to just switch back and forth between them. Yep, I close, and if I close that, I can basically um, cancel that. I can choose to write in different colors uh, onto the, the unit as well. So, yeah, I can same, as, it. same as on the tablet. Yeah, you'll see the writing coming up there. Yeah, and then I can change images as well. So, so you can see the big reds that we have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, that's uh, about it. Um, the camera is also, just like on a tablet, I can activate my camera um, and I can show that on screen as well. So. Sure. Actually, you know, the so there you have it. I mean, we've got two two different independent wireless systems, both from Casio, both working with Casio wireless projectors. Uh, personally, these are some of the best I've seen. Uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, give us a call, because not only would you be getting a wireless system with your Casio projector, but you're getting a Casio lamp-free projector. You will never buy a lamp again. And as you can tell from here, that ultra short throw is just inches from the wall, and that's a pretty big screen. So, again, this is Anthony. Give me a call at 866 942 6273. For John and everyone at Cassia, thanks for watching. Thank you.